The issue with persistent amygdala overactivity is that it weakens the prefrontal cortex function. And it does by excessive noradrenaline release, activating the alpha-1 receptors, which actually reduces cognitive flexibility results in impulsivity. And this is much more enhanced in children and adolescents as their limbic system is dominant. Now the amygdala dysfunction does not just affect daytime functioning, but impacts sleep as well because of the high concentration of noradrenergic neurons. Therefore, this results in sleep dysfunction as well, what we call restless REM sleep. Now restless REM sleep prevents individuals from entering into non-REM sleep, which is an important part we said to activate the glymphatic system for the restoration to remove the toxic so now we've got a cascade essentially resulting in ongoing structural and functional abnormalities of the brain that impact both sleep and daytime functioning, setting up a vicious cycle. Now this can affect activity, cognition, and emotions.